Hey Bell City, Coach Mello coming at you with Tuesday's at home workout. Tuesday, June 2nd, 19 days out from our June 20th reopen date. Fingers crossed, knock on wood. Um, today's workout, well first we'll start with your question of the day, courtesy of Erica. This is a funny one. Um, if we wanted to catch you in a trap, what could we put in that trap that you couldn't resist? What would be that thing that we would put in the trap we'd be able to catch you because you couldn't resist it? That's your question of the day. Your warm up today, we're gonna take five minutes for your warm up. It will start with one minute of your choice cardio. So you could run for a minute, bike, row, jumping jacks, uh, single unders, double unders, you can jump rope, any sort of cardio option. And then you're gonna go into four sets of Tabata. So you'll work for 20 seconds, rest for 10 seconds. First movement is gonna be jumping jacks. Second movement will be up downs. So for that, one minute of cardio and then four minutes of these two movement Tabata, okay? So for the first movement, you've got jumping jacks, pretty straightforward, 20 seconds of jumping jacks, then you will rest for 10 seconds and your next movement is going to be your up downs, hands down, jump out, jump in, and stand up, all right? So that'll be your up down for the next 20 second interval. We'll go through four sets of that as your warm up. Moving on to your strength. Strength today, this can be a doozy. We've got a 15 minute EMOM. Every minute on the minute for 15 minutes, which is five sets, there's three different movements. In minute one, you are doing 20 single object push press. So burning those shoulders, a little dynamic movement. Second one, 15 goblet upright rows. And then the third thing, you're gonna do 10 single object up downs. So let's take a look at what these movements look like. For the first one, your push press, you will hold a single object, kettlebell or a dumbbell or a medicine ball, whatever you guys have. In that front rack position, weight is in your heels. You're gonna push those knees out, dip, drive and press right into that next rep. All right, so try and go heavy on this. It is 20 reps, lots of volume to get through in one minute, but that's your dip drive. You can do this with a kettlebell as well. Hanging on to that thing in your goblet position, little dip, drive up overhead. Again, punching your head through at the top. So that's the first minute, 20 of those. The second movement, we're moving on to 15 goblet upright rows. Again, kettlebell or a dumbbell. This one, you're gonna squeeze everything nice and tight, hanging on to one head of the dumbbell. You're gonna row up and back down. So upright row and back down. You can do this with a kettlebell just as well. So hanging on to your kettlebell. Again, everything stays nice and tight. This is really your shoulders, upper back, squeezing and back down. Zipping up that sweatshirt and coming right back down. You'll do 15 of those in the second minute. Finally, last movement. We can do this one a couple of different ways. This is your up down with an object. So one, you can use a single dumbbell, put it down in front of you, jump out, jump in, and deadlift up. Down, out, in, up. You're doing 10 of those within the minute, okay? Another way to do these, if you have two dumbbells of equal weight, you can use both of them here, out, in, up. Make sure you guys are setting your back before lifting the weight up off the ground, okay? So those will be your single object up downs. That is your strength piece for today. 15 minute EMOM, three different movements, five sets, 20 of the push press, 15 of the upright rows, and then 10 of the object up downs. Awesome. Moving on to your conditioning for today. Also 15 minutes, this is gonna be an AMRAP. So as many rounds and reps as possible in 15 minutes of 50 double unders. Don't have dubs, you can count your attempts, maybe count 25 attempts and you can practice jump rope in the workout or you can do 50 single unders as well. Or if you don't have the space or the equipment to jump, you guys can do mountain climbers. If you wanna hold two light objects in your hand 
and do some mock jump rope. You guys can do that as well. The next movement is gonna be six bent over rows. That's single arm bent over rows, six each side. Then 12 single object floor press and finishing out with a one minute glute bridge floor press hold, all right? So 15 minute AMRAP. Try and set a nice consistent, sustainable pace across that longer time domain. First movement is going to be the 50 double unders or single unders or mountain climbers. If you guys are doing your mountain climbers, that's from the top of your tall plank, bringing your knees in and counting one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to 50, okay? Next movement, single arm bent over row. So one kettlebell or dumbbell, you're gonna do six of these each side. Little bend in the knee, big hinge of the hip, and you're gonna row all the way up to that rib cage. Make sure as you're doing this that your chest is facing the ground. So you don't wanna be rowing this way and getting upright as you move forward. Make sure you are bent over, chest facing the ground, keeping that elbow in. Six with one side, switch over six with the other side. Next movement is your floor press. 12 single object floor press. So if I'm using my dumbbell, I will come down on my back. I'm going to do 12 floor press. Good reps. Then after I'm done with 12, I'll check the clock, going into a glute bridge floor press hold. So driving those hips up, keeping that weight up overhead and holding here for one minute and that'll finish out your first round. You guys will have 15 minutes and wrap as many rounds as possible, and that is your conditioning for today. Awesome work, guys. You got a five minute warm up, 15 minute EMOM for your strength, 15 minute and wrap for your conditioning, and then we have your DIY mobility that we post every day as well. All right, keep it up, guys. Don't forget to do your countdown workout. We got 19 reps of everything today. Great job. See you guys in the Zoom room.